Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and I'm finally back home. Oh my god, it is glorious. Also, I might have actually fell asleep all of yesterday and I've only kind of woke up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I have a load of Overwatch news for you guys, so check this out. First thing we've got is the date for Blizzard World. This is coming out on January the 23rd, which is of course next week. However, there are more interesting things with this. We get Blizzard World, yeah, and that's an awesome map. It's fantastic, it's great. It's been in development for a very long time though which is kind of weird. I think it's something to do with how complex the map is and there's a lot of very um, easy ways to get outside of the map and to become invulnerable so you can then do damage to people and basically mess up the game. So they've been working on fixing that which is why it's taken a while. However, there are a load of new items coming out when this drops that will be added to the base loot box. So what we're looking at are loads of skins. In fact, there are eight confirmed skins. You guys all know what these are so I'm not going to show you again um, but all of the fancy skins that we've seen at BlizzCon also, there will be new skins, there will be new highlight intros and loads of stuff that we haven't seen. But what stuff haven't we seen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at right now on the screen are some new unreleased sprays. It looks like what they are doing is they're going to tease new stuff every day until all of the stuff comes out, which is next Tuesday. You can see there's a bunch of sprays there. What I'll do is put these on the screen. Uh, in fact, no, I won't bother with that. I'll just link to it. You guys can check this uh, tweet out. It's on the main play of Watch Twitter. But what I suspect they will do is show us highlight intros, victory poses, and loads of new stuff leading up to the event, and then probably start showing us sprays. So they are going to reveal new cosmetics on Twitter. Most likely, they may put videos on their YouTube channel. We don't know, but stay tuned for that. It's going to be super exciting. Also, as well, there won't be any balance changes with this patch, so we will not be seeing the Mercy change or the Junkrat change that are currently on PTR. So don't worry just yet. If you play those heroes, guys, they will not be nerfed when Blizzard World drops. That will be coming later on. Now, the next thing we've got is Jeff Goodman. Now, he's the principal game designer, so he's like the basically the top dog when it comes to Overwatch design, and he gives us a bit of information here on the movement changes because, well, Blizzard haven't, well, explained this. So right now on the live server, there are, well, there is the new movement system. And this means when you play Winston or any kind of character that goes into the air, um, you can control your momentum. Now, before, you could kind of, but you did uh, conserve momentum. So what I mean by that is you kind of kept going in the direction you were going in. Now, you can almost make radical changes in the air. There is a lot of changes as well to this, uh, not just in the air, but when you're strafing and going down ramps, it's all totally different. So Jeff has put up a massive post on the forum, and he explains what's going on. So what I'm going to do is explain his post, or, well, read his post off, so I apologize if you guys don't listen to me reading the post. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to read most of it. But then I'm going to explain what this means. So let's get stuck into this. Also, I won't bother putting this on the screen because, well, it's just, it'll just be a wall of text. Okay, so uh, he says he wants to explain the changes. Now, let's talk about the incline changes. There were two persistent issues with movement on inclines that we wanted to clean up. First, while moving diagonally on inclines, you would end up being slightly strafed left or even right if you were only attempting to move forward. This can be subtle. Uh, this can be a subtle source of aiming issues for many people and now the player will properly move forward in this situation so you won't accidentally strafe uh, in that situation you will just move forward which is good it will feel more clean Secondly, movement up and down inclines had inconsistent speed as compared to the ground. Running both up and down an incline would be faster than walking on flat ground. However, faster movement, e.g. McCree's combat roll, would be slower when going up and down inclines. Having consistent character movement speed is important for many reasons, the biggest of which it allows you to be very reliably know how to aim your hit scan shots or lead projectile fire. So I don't really need to explain that, that's just fine. This means if you use any kind of movement ability on a ramp, you'll go at the same speed you would have done on the flat, whereas before, that wouldn't happen. You'd either go faster or you'd go slower. So that's a good change. Next up, we've got acceleration changes. So the characters in Overwatch have a fixed acceleration, how fast they can change their movement velocity, depending on if they are in the air or on the ground. Previously, this amount would get reduced if you were attempting to change your direction by 90 degrees or less and was more pronounced if you were going faster than normal, e.g. Winston's jump pack or Doomfist rocket punch. One of the consequences of this was that you were in the air traveling forward and wanted to move directly right, you could reach full speed to the right faster if you accelerated backwards to a full stop and then move to the right, as opposed to simply pressing to the right. Having to do a non-intuitive movement to reach your desired direction as fast as possible is not ideal. So we made changes to allow you to move more consistently in the air. So this is what I was talking about at the start of the video. This means we're like right now with Winston carrying on with that example if you jump forward in the air um, and you press to the right you move to the right like there is none of this bending around or having to 
uh, press back to sort of held you because what would happen is if you jumped up in the air with Winston as you're going forward if you press back um, you'd actually kind of stop in the air and then drop down and that would be the way of sort of controlling your direction now you just simply press the direction you want to go so it's cleaner and it's easier and it is actually a buff for Winston and Junkrat and any kind of character which uses that type of movement and kind of Farah uh, as well I think yeah it kind of is a buff to Farah pretty well it pretty much is a buff to anyone who can jump into the air so he then gives a bunch of examples and these are better than the examples I could come up with so we'll just run through these if you're flying as Farah you can now just press forward and you will properly accelerate moving forward instead of having to counter accelerate to stop sideways and drift if you're leaping as Winston, you can more effectively redirect your velocity around corners. Prior to this rework, it was possible to achieve similar mid-air turns by always facing your current velocity while strafing, but this was also unintuitive. So uh, there's a couple more examples as well, but that's basically Jeff explaining, and uh, Jeff Goodman, not Jeff Kaplan, explaining the movement system. Now, what's interesting about this is kind of the delay. Um, I think they should have just give us this as they did this. I mean, this is on live servers right now, so they should have just said, hey, um, this is the movement change, and yeah, this is why it's changed, because a lot of people, they weren't really clear what was going on. So, we know the date of Blizzard World. It is next Tuesday, which is awesome. It is the 22nd of, uh, 23rd, sorry, that is Tuesday, right? Have I lost my mind? I am heavily jet-lagged. Yeah, no, it's the next Tuesday. So, next Tuesday, we will see Blizzard World. I think, following on from that, the week after, we're probably going to see the event. We're probably going to see Lunar New Year, or it should come very fast after that. Um, I am surprised because I expected this to drop yesterday, uh, Blizzard World, because it's kind of the gap between Overwatch League and the next event, but it looks like that's not going to be the case, but whatever. But yeah, guys, what I'd like to know in the comments below is how have you found the movement changes and are you looking forward to the Junkrat and Mercy nerfs when they eventually go live, which should be after uh, this actually goes out, whenever that is. Well, I mean, we don't know. Um, also, Overwatch League. What do you guys think about Overwatch League? Now, I was in LA for um, 11, 12 days um, now and I've only just got back to the UK and it's bloody freezing in the UK. But I was like heavily absorbed into Overwatch. I think I'll make a couple of videos um, for the next couple of days and just go into detail on my thoughts of Overwatch Watch League and what you guys think. Now, unfortunately, I don't have um, a lot of behind the scenes footage because we wasn't allowed to film anywhere, really. Um, it's, it's like a massive military operation. You can't just walk around with a camera, which was a shame because it would have been really cool for me to show you guys what it was really like behind the scenes. But anyway, guys, I've been Stylo. This is Unit Lost. It's good to be home. And uh, well, yeah, normal service will resume from now on. I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Oh, and remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Join the Discord as well, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.